just to see where it goes. Can't go across here. Whoops. <laughs> That's an outtake and a half. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Oh. Hello, you beautiful lot. My name's Purple, and this is the Kutch. <laughs> If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button, then hit the little bell for the notifications, and we can let you know about the cutch. Please, give it a good old share as well. People need to know about this place. Obviously, not during flooding. <laughs> now, I am afraid, as you can tell, it's absolutely chucking it down. So, here's my video for a rainy day and me and Liam we decided to take a trip to the oldest theme park here in England which is Wicksteed Park it's built by Charles Wicksteed and his family are still owning it today um, up until it went bankrupt and then it's just been bought out by charity but yeah I wanted to go up to Wicksteed Park because the old old gentlemen that come down to this place say that the river should be at this level naturally Okay, so that's pretty deep, you know. Hi Rafiki. <laughs> I'm on the butterfly bank here, and this is the entrance. <clears throat> See, and you're supposed to walk in between the tree and the stump and walk round to the bank back and get onto the butterfly bank, but nah. But anyway, this is supposed to be the original level. So I, I thought maybe Wixty Park could be the problem. And I think the lake still could be, but I still need to investigate further. So, here's my video of walking and checking out Wicksteed Park during a lockdown. Okay. Oh, alright. Got, you got your sister's ticket. Get rid! We're now in Ketrin. And we need to make our way, a long way, to Wicksteed Park. Be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, here we are then. We're here. And this place was opened by Charles Wicksteed. And originally he just wanted to build a model village for everybody. But, you know, for, with the development of the town, he decided to upgrade a little bit and give people a load of, you know, give them a leisure activity to do, somewhere to go. And his main goal in doing this whole area was keeping it as free as it could be. You know, it wasn't until the main theme park rides started coming in that you know, we started generating money as a theme park. But still, even whilst this theme park's closed, uh, you, you can still use the rides free of charge. And it's beautiful. But the main reason we are here today is because the coach the river ice, it runs up to Wicksteed Park where I hear it's been diverted. So I want to go have a look and see if that's the reason why the river ice is only at a third of the level it should be. But at the same time, we're going to show you this beautiful place because it's quite magic. It's nice to know that the magic waters run through this place and down at the Koch. Awesome. Anyone who's been to this park would remember the pirate ship that was here. It's been replaced by this spinning carousel, but... When you die, you're not going to have to put up with everlasting non-existence, because that's not an experience. A lot of people are afraid that when they die, they're going to be locked up in a dark room forever. Oh, my God. 
oh, that pirate ship made this park. It was iconic. It's a shame they haven't just put it somewhere else where they can keep it as a mu museum piece. Because that, that thing was magic. Yeah, after Charles Wicksteed made um, his park, he decided to um, build a few little manor houses around here. And I do believe that's one of them. Imagine living on a theme park. That's my dream. So me and the missus have decided we're going to get two little theme park tickets so we can ride the train. See if we can find the end of the eyes. It's me and the missus. Got our little ticket. But the sad thing is there's only three rides that are running down here. There's the carousel, the train, and um, there was something else. I can't remember what that was. I'm sure we'll find out when we go down. Um, but it's on skeleton service and they're trying to keep the park going and keep it ticking over. Because a little while ago they got made bankrupt and they got bought out by a charity. So to show my support, we got our ticket and we're going to go on the train and then that should take us around the corner to where the the lake drips onto the ice. So yeah, we'll do that, have a little bit of lunch, and then go walk it. Yeah. Yeah, you go for it, yeah. That's it then, we're full. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Hello. So the train that we're getting on is being pulled by a train called the Merlin. But yeah, I'll do my best to do the video as we go around. On the opposite side to entry, only when the train has come to a complete stop back at the station. <laughs>
Thin. Yeah. Yeah. Is that his no, he's just obsessed with two. Mm. So yeah, that'll do, won't it? Right. Now we're gonna go get ourselves a little somewhere to eat. Find ourselves somewhere nice in this park. We can have our dinner. Yeah, and then we can go over to the corner of that lake and try and see what's going on with our river eyes. Oh, the old ferry boat. Yeah, that's why I just took a picture. Ah, yeah, yeah. I remember the ferry boat. Now, um, the ferry boat that used to be there was another grand, magnificent piece of Wicksteed Park here. Now, just as magnificent as what the uh, um, the pirate ship was. So, yeah, I'll see if I can dig out a photo. And the boathouse that was just here, but a couple of years ago it caught fire. And yeah. Yeah, we're down the water part of Wicksteed Park and there's <laughs> ducks everywhere and this used to be the little rowing boat bit um, you could take the, the little canoes out and get your mate in the back kind of skivvy about a bit but my favourite which were the jet skis and I'll be able to show you a photo but they're now gone now I do know about 20 years ago uh, a young girl went down the chute and it kind of capsized on her and uh, I believe she got seriously injured, it even maybe killed. So, it's a shame that's gone. And of course we've got our helicopters. Yeah! I remember taking my son up there and you know the pedals are that stiff, I had to take over and do all the work. Bless him. Yeah, so many memories here. Of course Wicksteed Garage in the background little cars that go around on the track <laughs> yeah oh yeah some real awesome signs up there Car hire, yeah guess, check that out ones. I like that <laughs> of course this bit used to be the Avery I mean I, I don't know what happened I think they moved them further up to the top um, near the children's adventure playground that's free and this is all turned into like a, a well mining area with sand my favorite oh yeah so this must be the new bit they're on about I think they're gonna do some chalets a little bit like Bill and Aquadrome so you be, yeah yeah I'd, I'd rent one out yeah rod live here as well but of course in the background you've got the main water chute i have got some old photos of that as well so i'll be able to sling them over but yeah <laughs> yeah right now time to find the eyes you used to be able to see some big fish in here This would be like an overflow for the eyes. Yeah, it's quite can't see nothing in there. Mm. No. But this bit here that comes off the lake and then goes down in there. It's the eyes. So I need to go and have a quick look down that bit. See where it leads. Yeah, we'll have a look. I don't know if I've been down this bit, but I went down that bit. I have no idea. So this must be another entrance. Oh, please keep your dogs on the lead at all times. That's another park. I think that's going to be a walk for another day. Yeah. But this here, look. It is the lock. And this is the lock. So when the eyes fills, it's because this lock, this gate, has opened up. Sharon took me to Foxton Locks. That was good. Where? Foxton Locks. Oh, Foxton Locks? Yeah. All right, there you go. There's... Yeah, definitely. I want to see that other weir, there's, there's a little side channel. See that side channel where it's all dripping down? I want to have a quick look there. Yeah. 
Yeah. What's some of it down here? But we need to keep following this river ice. See what's going on with her. Look. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's very small, bless her. So the train line was actually completed in 1931 and has been running round here ever since. Yeah, beautiful place. You are the Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. I saw it as we went past on the train, but. Mm. Oh, there's a robin back there. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Look at him, he's so sweet. Hey, buddy, how are you? He's turning. I don't mean to startle you. Are you leading me to the eyes? Oh. He is, yeah. And the eyes river, look. So, cotch water, as my son would say. Yeah, but that is worrying me a little bit because the water that's coming off the lake is also going down the far corner. And unless that's dipping into the eyes, that isn't explaining why our water levels are so low. I've got to work it out. Well now, really, when we go back, then falling in love. We don't say rising in love. There is in it the idea of the fall. And uh, it is, goes back, as a matter of fact, to extremely fundamental things. That there is always a curious tie between the fall and the creation. Taking this ghastly risk uh, is the condition of their being life. See, for all, the life is not an act of faith, but an act of gambling. Not that you enter into any kind of human undertaking in relationship, what an act of faith. See, you've given yourself up. Any water that is coming off this lake is going into the ice and you can see that back at the top so unless there's anything further along the lake which we'll have a look at I believe our problem is further up and isn't in Wixley Park
But what that means for us is um, I'm going to have to start another journey, starting at Wicksteed Park, heading straight upstream through Kettering, and just try and track where this problem is. Because from talking to the elders, the river should be a lot deeper, even after this lake was built. So the great hunt will continue another day, but for now, we're going to keep going up and we're going to show you the motor court and then take you up to where the little meerkats are and the prairies. Cool. I just bumped into a group of YouTubers as well. So 118J, they seem to be doing something interesting. So I can't wait to get back on the old uh, YouTube box and see what they're up to. Very worrying, it looks so abandoned. E even the roller coaster is rusty as anything. It's not looking good. Oh, I do hope the heritage scheme can kind of get in there and sort it out. I'll even volunteer a couple of days and tea cut the rat uh, tracks. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys, sort it out. Get the volunteers in. Don't let it fall into disrepair. Don't do it. That's cool, I've never seen that bit before. You take your little Land Rover and you've got little cars, they'll teach you how to drive around the track. <laughs> what do you reckon, we're setting you on there next year when it's open? Right, here we go. <gasps> Plant pots. <laughs> Awesome. The Sway Rider. Oh, and we're not allowed in. It's all closed off. It's all closed off. Yeah, because I remember I went in there once. Yeah, what's in there? There's a cafe and... We had dinner in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I remember the 2P machines. Such a shame. I hope people start behaving soon. Oh, you see the dome in the back? Um, that used to be um, like a big cinema and you used to be able to stand inside it and this screen was so big they put like a roller coaster ride on it and it felt like you were actually moving. <clears throat> Absolute brilliant illusion. I think I'll show you a piece of the carousel and then I think we're done here. It's about time we got home, eh? We walked all the way around. <laughs> we did walk all the way around, yeah. <laughs> the bit's not over, well, not the zoo, but the animal bit. Yeah. Have a look through the gate. You can hear it. Yeah. You can hear it. It's up there. 
they put me up back as well. Yeah, there is a bird because it says it on the ground. There's a bird on the exit. Uh, so that's where the Avery's gone. So the Avery that was down by the water park. Yeah, it's here now. It's here now. But it's oh. closed. This bit, we went to the zoo bit afterwards and there was monkeys, birds and other bits like that. Awesome. And this, we went on this. <laughs> Keaton did. Keaton loves that. Bless him. That's your autistic brother, isn't it? Bless yeah. him. Yeah, he's got a heart of gold. He's such a energy to be around. <laughs> kind of leaves you a bit drained, but wow leaves you enlightened so much and the weird thing is is you've got to talk extra smart to him you can't dumb it down like you're talking to a child you've got to talk like you're talking to an old man who's wise and then he understands uh, i know a couple more like that as well autism kids they're, they're, they're on it Yeah, I don't like that one. No. They could have done umbrellas or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one. But yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? So yeah, Wicksteed Pavilion. And I have spent many nights with the old rock and roll, getting down with the old handbag heaven. Yeah, plenty of memories. But yeah, um, Charles Wicksteed, he opened up this park. He got it established in 1921. So that actually makes it the oldest theme park in all of England, right here in the Rosa Shires. Now, you ask a few people about, and they really have never heard about this place. It's like they try and keep it under the radar to keep it a proper heritage theme park. It's just a shame it's going through this pandemic at the minute. It's a shame. But that's why I'm doing this video right here. Give them some support, give them some praise. And if you can donate over, then donate to these guys because they're doing a real good thing here. This park is free. If you want to go on the rides yeah it's going to cost you a little bit but that's for the maintenance of the rides but everything else here is for free we're going to make our way home because we've still got to get the train and that a few moments later just made it we are now just entering Koch territory Woo! there she is hey baby Hey baby girl! Yeah! Back in our hometown, home soil, that's what we like. And yeah, just to think this could actually be one of the last times that me and my little mage here could ride one of these class 43 HSTs. So. The power lines have now been turned on, so it really isn't going to be long before they switch all these over. Anyway, let's give her a good old send off. brilliant eh so please guys these guys need your help and the place is free for all and so dog friendly so please just go for it give them a little donation I, I will put the website for them in the comments um, they need all the help you, they can get I'd just like to add as well I'm a train nutter if you haven't noticed I love trades there was a world without roads at one point and all there was was rails i'd love it everybody wants to be a train driver 
Absolutely. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. I am sorry we've been rained off. And hopefully we might be able to play with a cotch next week. I hope you like the video. Have a beautiful weekend. Peace, love and light with a touch of Wellingborough unity. Mm. With a little bit of Ketrins too.